Welcome Virgo to your weekly reading. This is for the 18th to the 25th of September. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. Virgo, I'm going to start off by looking at the first row as the possible energy beginning the week. The second row is going to be the area that you should focus on. The third row is the unexpected energy coming in. The fourth row is messages and advice from spirit. And finally, our fifth row is the possible outcome of the week. Virgo, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. We are going to start off here with Queen of Pentacles and I'm just going to get your clarifier. So let us see now what the Queen of Pentacles energy is for Virgo, please. King of Wands. Virgo, at the beginning of the week, you are presenting as Queen of Pentacles. It does not matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's the energy of the card we are speaking about. Now, Queen of Pentacles tells me you're in a very stable, solid, grounded energy beginning the week. We see that at the beginning of the week, there is somebody coming in who is presenting as King of Wands. Once again, this could be a masculine or feminine. It's the energy of the card we are speaking about. Now, the King of Wands is a very dynamic person. This is our entrepreneur. He's a visionary, very creative, very innovative. Now, there is something happening with regards to this person and you that is coming up at the beginning of the week. Let us continue as I'm sure we're going to get greater insight what this is all about as we move along. So now we want to focus on your Ten of Pentacles and we're looking at the area that you should focus on. Right, let us see now what the Ten of Pentacles energy is for Virgo, please. The Magician. Virgo, I do think that this King of Wands person is coming in with something very grand. They've got a very grand gesture that they're coming in with. Now, this could be a suggestion, advice. They could be offering you something and offering you an opportunity. Whatever it is that they're coming in with, it has quite a spectacular impact and energy. And what they are offering you is very much connected to your Ten of Pentacles. Now, Ten of Pentacles for me is the wish fulfillment card when it comes to our security, our abundance, career, money and finances. So this King of Wands could come in with the energy of Virgo. Let's go into business together. I've got a great idea, but I need somebody with your skills to join me to make it successful. This could be the energy of your partner coming in and saying, Virgo, let's move in together. Let's build a home together. Let's start a family. It's a very grand energy. And whatever it is for you, it's connected to your Ten of Pentacles. Now remember, Virgo, everybody's Ten of Pentacles is very different. What depicts your security now, your abundance? This is what we're talking about. So this is where you put all your energy and focus this week. Now we are going to look at our page of wands energy that is sitting in your unexpected. So we want to see now what the page of wands energy is for Virgo, please. The Ace of Cups. You have a very interesting reading this week and it's all 
about this King of Wands energy coming in and whatever it is that they are offering you or they are suggesting to you, it's opening up a very big gateway for you. What we see in your unexpected, the Page of Wands tells me that you are going to seriously consider what the King of Wands is coming in with. And I feel you might even do more than that this week because it is sitting in your unexpected. I think you already are starting to think and plan on what you can do with what this is that the king is offering you. We see here our page is beautifully dressed, holding up the wand of infinite possibility, looking out into the future. The land around him is barren. It's not yet developed. You're only at the beginning of something. But Virgo, what we do see is unexpectedly, I think you're going to move very quickly in whatever this is for you. It resonates with you. It speaks to you. You see the potential. You see where it can go. With that, we are being told you feel that whatever this is, is a blessing. Hand of God is coming in with the Ace of Cups. You're looking at it and seeing it for its true value, its true worth. Can you see here the cup is overflowing in five different directions? You have a great sense that whatever this is that this king is proposing, it's only the beginning. It's something that is going to grow and expand. It has like a ripple effect that it's going to keep giving and getting better and better. Unexpectedly, my dear Virgos, you see opportunity and you move quickly. And I think the unexpected part could be for you, for the people around you, because, you know, usually perhaps you sit with something, you think about something, but now you recognize the value immediately and there's no hesitation. Very nice to see. Now let us see what the strength card is that is sitting in messages and advice from spirit. So we want to see now what the strength card is for Virgo, please. And you have Knight of Swords. Wow, what a lovely confirmation. Virgo spirit is coming in and they want you to know you can manage this. You've got everything you need to take this opportunity and move forward. Spirit does not want you to second guess yourself or doubt yourself. They want you to do exactly as we have seen here. Recognize it, grab it and move with it. Spirit is just confirming with our strength card, no matter what comes up with regards to this, you're going to handle it. Even if there are little bumps and hitches in the road, Spirit is saying, Virgo, don't worry, you've got this. You will manage it. You've got the skills, you've got the gifts, you've got the talents. Don't doubt yourself for a moment. This is a gift from the hand of God. This is something you should take. Spirit is then telling you, move with it. And we saw you doing just that in your unexpected. Spirit is saying, think of the future. Think of where you're going. If you now embrace it, take it on, start working with it, things are going to move fast and things are going to happen quicker than you anticipate. So this is really a very solid confirmation on everything we have seen and spoken about coming in from spirit. Now let us see what the moon energy is that is sitting in the possible outcome of the week. Right, let us see now what the moon energy is for Virgo, please. The Emperor. Virgo, the moon energy is coming in because it's letting me know that as you begin the process, as the king of wands comes in with this 
grand gesture, this grand offer. And as you go through the process of looking at it, thinking about it, moving with it, by the end of the week, anything around it will clear up. If you have any questions, they'll be answered. If you have any doubts, they'll be taken care of. If there was any worry or concern about this energy, it clears up by the end of the week. We also see that by the end of the week, you are feeling the emperor energy. Once again, it does not matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's the energy of the emperor we are speaking about. Now, the emperor is the energy of king of kings. He's solid. He knows where he's going. He's content. He is proud of the decisions he's made. And it's a very focused and strong energy. I do believe, my dear Virgos, that once you have made your decision, once you see where it's taking you and what is possible, you get the surge of, wow, things are only going to get better. Things are only going to improve for me now. I'm on the right path. So it's a wonderful energy we see because we see you very clear. you out of any kind of doubt or insecurity and you have your eye on the prize. Let's move on now and get your spirit animal for the week. So we just want to see now what Virgo's spirit animal is for this week, please. And you have got number 15, cow spirit. The miracles are endless. So the number 15 is your lucky number. Any combination or variation of the numbers 1 and 5, please consider very auspicious. The cow is your spirit animal. So wherever the cow comes up, this too is a blessed sign. And your message is, the miracles are endless. And my dearest Virgos, we saw right here with our magician card, the hand of God coming in with the Ace of Cups, that there is a big energy of miracles here. And we saw the cup overflowing in five different streams because the miracle is endless. This energy is just going to grow and get bigger and better for you. So you really have a lot here to look forward to. So that's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I'm sending you all so much love.